the backyard barbecue. Uh, one half of the squad. Y'all know the Smitty is not out here just yet. I believe he'll be out here next weekend. Hold on. Yeah, next week. Actually, yeah, next weekend. So, what we're going to do is, I can't wait on Smitty, y'all. I got a, 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 a shindig to do. And what's crazy is, no matter where I go, I end up cooking for people. Man, this is crazy. Um, I cooked some food for myself at work one day, and they was like, man, what is that smell? And I was like, this is barbecue chicken, and it went from there. People was like, bring me something in, let me taste it. And now they call it crack chicken, y'all. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to show y'all. I just got a shipment of seasoning. Let me show y'all something real quick. Let me show y'all something, right? If you don't know what you're doing on the grill, I'm going to be honest with you. And, you know, I almost just went ahead and started seasoning my meat before I showed y'all this, but... I'm gonna give y'all a little secret. This. Hey man, I don't know who this dude is, but this chef right here, you see he plucking on his little mustache? That's what you're gonna be doing when you're wiping the barbecue sauce off your face, man. This, this dude here, I give him points. If you look back, one of my videos when I went to San Diego, uh, Oceanside area, I talk about him. And that's the very first place I actually saw that seasoning. Anyway, thanks for Walmart for sending it to me. Uh, via the online uh, Walmart service. Of course, they didn't give me nothing free. I had to buy that. But, hey, Walmart, if you want to give me a, a, a ton of it, I'll use it. Anyway, uh, Montreal chicken, man. This season right here, keep in mind, y'all, I'm in no means, like, supporting these people. But they support my belly because this stuff is too good. Anyway, you do a 50-50 blend, right? You're going to mix these half and half. Half and half on your season. You come season with this, and I might be able to show y'all that. Kind of in a rush. I need to pad this season 24 hours prior because it's, it's supposed to be due tomorrow. Um, and this. You just mix it together. And anyway, you know what? Since I got y'all here, let me just do this right quick. I'm just going to show y'all my seasoning, right? I'm going to tell y'all, we claim we, 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 let me back up a little bit. We, we're a little serious about our barbecue and stuff. I'm just going to show y'all what I got in here. <laughs> if your kitchen don't look like this, man, you ain't playing around. Steak season, got to have that. Um, Sazons, the complete mixture. I'm not going to take all these out. Same thing. Got to have multiple because I don't know when I'm going to get another one. Some Caribbean, shout out to my brother. Uh, Terry, my little brother, Terry, sending me these, man, I needed them. Smitty hooked me up with some more barbecue seasoning. And what I do is I'm gonna mix these. Hey, if you grew up poor, you know what the hell this is. Trust me. That damn large, boy. Some more, with some Cajun seasoning. I kind of mix them up. Um, this is awesome, but by itself, it won't work. I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, some season all, little basic stuff. Hey, where I am, they love lamb. So shout out to my boy Corey for hooking me up with this right here. Um, what it didn't do is make my lamb taste good. Anyway, man, I got some of everything. Lemon pepper for my wings. You know, the basic nature seasoning, New Orleans seafood, uh, garlic powder, all this right here, garlic powder. Smith sit brought me this last time he was here. Can't go nowhere without this. I don't even have to talk about Mr. John Henry. That dude, Dell. Don't ask me why I bought this. I don't have no fryer. I can't fry no turkey. Cause I'll be here for Thanksgiving, maybe. But, uh, y'all get the gist, man. Kicking chicken, man, we mix it all. Onion powder, smoked maple, steak onion burger. Whatever mood I'm in. I got it, man. Montreal chicken. That's another one. I put that over there. Um, for those that don't like salt, hey, this actually tastes pretty good, man. You can actually like pour this in your hand and taste it. It tastes pretty good. Um, garlic powder. Uh, even got some woo sauce. That's good for teriyaki wings if you're trying to make them. Uh, some citrus blends. This this what I'm boiled out to, right? This is my black pepper. Crazy as it seems. 
Anyway, we'll, we'll be back, y'all. Take y'all back over here. We can get busy. We can get this lined up. And we're gonna get busy, y'all. I'm gonna bring out all this chicken, show y'all that. And then uh tomorrow when I find this grill, we're gonna get busy. Let's see in a few. Anyway, I said I was gonna show y'all my chicken before I get started. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna do a mix, a mixture of uh, Montreal's chicken and uh this dog on uh, Chef Marito chicken season. But uh I got two bags of these famous wings, some thighs, three bags of milk, and three bags of drumsticks, man, just to make a variety. I do have a case of, uh, I run through y'all, I found a hookup with the meat man. I'm going to show y'all a box of chicken that I bought maybe three weeks ago that I cooked for somebody. Um, right after this, I'm going to roll into a little clip so you can see. I might even just put a picture up so you can see the case of chicken that I got over here. Trust me, I'm always talking to somebody and they hook me up with something. And uh, I actually found some, uh, what's it called? Uh, one cold. I didn't find where you buy it from. I was in a, in, a, in a restaurant talking to somebody and they had the grill going and they was using lump coal. And uh, the dude was like, hey man, I'll give you a plastic bag full of lump coal. So, <laughs> I walked out to the restaurant with a bag of lump coal. So I'll probably show y'all that too. Um, what I have left of that. Um, and see my struggle over here. Like I said, man. Be blessed where you're at to get whatever you can get. Because now I'm in a situation where I was spoiled. I get any kind of wood, any kind of lump coal and all that. And now I'm trying to make it do what it do. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and see this chicken up, y'all. We'll see y'all in 24 hours. Well, for the video, I'll see you in a minute. But I'll see y'all in 24 hours because... Hands down, that's how I do my chicken. 99% of the time. 24 hours. Key. Must. Right? Just let it marinate all the way through. I ain't gonna say marinate because marinate deals with juices, but uh, the seasoning goes all the way through to the bone if you season it right. So, like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and take care of this because I'm in a rush for my 24 hour time frame. And I'll see y'all in a little bit, y'all. We're gonna get busy. What's up, y'all? You know this your boy, man. I'm in the kitchen. Uh, Actually, I should give y'all a tour. Eh, yeah, whatever. Anyway, let me show you what I just came up on. You know, if you know me, like I said, Mr. B from Backyard Barbecue. I'm going to find some chicken somewhere. It don't matter where I'm at. In the desert. Got chicken. Look at that. Leg quarters. This is 15 kilograms. They weigh things in kilograms over here. Look at that. 33 pounds of leg quarters. And you already know what I'm doing. I'm already getting engaged and I'm actually showing you this while I'm talking. But uh it's frozen. Look at that, frozen. You see the ice on it. Yep, can't wait for this to thaw out so I can season it up. Actually, let me show y'all my uh what I shipped over here. You know I got to keep stuff on deck. Yeah, y'all remember that from the video? Oh look what I got up there. That's for Thanksgiving. <laughs> But yeah, just some of the bare essentials, you know, to get me through. A couple things in the back. Oh, Y'all yeah, see this one. Turn that around. There we go. Anyway, get out of my cabinet, y'all. But yeah, man, you know, I had to share this with y'all before we get busy cooking. Uh, they're doing a wing cook off at work. And you know, your boy said, I'm going to donate wings. I ain't even getting in the contest because I don't think it would be fair. I'm gonna donate some wings, man. You know, let the young guys do their thing, man. Have fun with it. But I'm gonna have fun with this chicken in order. All my, all my brothers and sisters in the mess, we're gonna get greedy. I'm gonna put this back over here. I'm gonna put it over the sink so they can start to throw out. Throw out. Um, we're gonna go from there, man. Oh, I got this right here. I'm gonna show y'all. Anybody ever use these? Not this particular brand, but. Eh. I'm gonna use this to warm my chicken up. Anyway, um, everything over here is expensive. So uh, I must really like them for me to spend my own money on food for somebody else. Anyway, we're gonna get busy, y'all. Like I said, we're gonna throw this thing out. We'll come back and show you my season. Mm, I don't know. Maybe. 
But you get the deal. I got my uh, Kamado. For those who like them videos, I'm going to put it to work. It's on top of the roof. We're going to get busy, y'all. Uh, not today. Like I said, this going to throw out. I'm going to season it for another day. And then uh, we're going to go for what it know. I don't know how much of this chicken I'm going to cook. Cause I'm going to keep some for myself. You believe that. And uh, we're going to get busy, y'all, and see what we do. Anyway, stay tuned. We're going to have a little fun out here in the desert before it get too hot. And uh, guess what? I take barbecue everywhere. This your boy. We'll be back, y'all. Stay tuned. All right, y'all. If you notice, here go my chicken. If you notice, they two different colors, y'all. Tell you why. All right, uh, let me back this up a little bit. But I truly decided to do my blend, just like I told you, with the, the Montreal chicken and the, uh, the, the the chicken season. But one thing to note, yellow mustard, man. So it's funny. Let me back this up a little bit, because now I really want to talk a little bit. But no, seriously, um, it's funny that with this yellow mustard, which I need to clean the bottom off, but uh, it's funny because I had a comment uh, on one of my uh, videos that was talking about yellow mustard. And it only goes on pork. Well, I'm be honest with you, right? This is what I love about the channel, right? Because we can agree to disagree, right? But what I don't think my brother, my barbecue and brother realized is mustard ain't for seasoning. There's two ingredients that you'll see in a lot of professional uh, barbecue videos, even us backyard barbecues, and it's mustard and olive oil, right? Bet you're wondering like where I'm going with this, right? So when I hear somebody comment, um, this is what we learn from each other, right? And mustard ain't put on any type of meat for taste, right? But hey, I salute you, whoever you was. I don't remember your name, but I salute you. Cause I like to have conversations about this, right? And at the end of the day, if you don't like mustard on your chicken, don't put mustard on your chicken, right? It's all good. But no, what I, what I want um, the YouTube world to understand is um, my take, right? Mustard is only for one reason, to make seasoning stick on the meat, right? A lot of times you see it on pulled pork or Boston butts, pork shoulders, stuff like that. But a lot of times you'll see them use olive oil too. That's the only reason it's there for. A lot of times we use seasonings and stuff like that for taste. But there's a couple out there that ain't for taste. Mustard, olive oil, I can tell you another one off the top of the head. Paprika, right? If I was to put paprika on this, you would not taste paprika. There's some smoked paprika out there now, but I'm talking about straight traditional blend paprika. That will make your chicken look bright red if you try to cook for presentation or you want to wow people with your barbecue skills just by looks, dump you some paprika on it. Not too much though, because it'll change the, the color of it when it's cooked to a bright red color. People look at that and be like, dang, you can cook. But it ain't you, it's the paprika cooking for you. So, just thought I'd put that out there real quick, man. Hey, salute. Keep telling me your comments on what you think and don't think right. I do my own opinion, but at the end of the day, like I said, hey, this is my backyard, you know what I mean? Shoot. What I do in my backyard is what I do. If you're on the other side of the fence and you're cooking and you're cooking your way, I give you your props too. Because everybody at the end of the day feel like they can barbecue. So I salute you for sending your comment out, man. Keep them coming, man. We'll be talking about them as we keep going. Um, but back to the season. This is the blend I was talking about earlier in the videos. Um, with the, uh, minus the mustard. But the uh, Montreal chicken is in the chicken season. But then I decided to go with my traditional jerk season which I didn't show you in a video. All right, that's my secret go-to. It's uh, straight from Jamaica. Uh, I brought it with me when I came over here because uh, I knew I wasn't gonna be able to get that. Um, so that's the difference in color. Obviously that being the jerk seasoning color. Um, but when I'm cooking for these people, man, you know, I want them to give two different tastes because if you like this one versus that one, this is how you get your money rolling. Right, you give them two opportunities, right? They both good. But one, they might be, oh man, that dog chicken tastes better than the light chicken. Cool, next time I cook for you, guess what you get? Dog chicken, right? This is how you, you, you entertain people when you kind of know what you're doing, you know the ingredients you're putting in there. Sometimes it don't hurt to look at the back and look at what's contained in there. Because a lot of times what's contained in there will determine whether it tastes good before you even spend your money on it. Testing it, right? Me, I just buy stuff. Anyway, 
But that's just food for thought. But uh, if you want to, like I said, if you're trying to get your name out there, that's exactly how you do it. You give them a couple couple seasons, two at most, right? Because you want to give them taste that tastes good, in your opinion, and then let them decide through talking and eating which one tastes better. And uh, once you get that, write it down because that person may continue to come back to you and ask you for chicken. And you got to remember which one or which blend of things that you use to uh, uh, cook for them. So anyway, I'm going to me talking because I can talk all day. Because I'm bored out here, y'all. You see what I'm doing, right? Barbecuing in the desert. Mm -hmm. Anyway, without further ado, man, we're going to go and put this in the, in the, in the refrigerator. I'm going to put some saran wrap on it. So it can uh, 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 just sit there and soak up the goodness, like I said, with the mustard. And tomorrow morning, I gotta find out what time this food's supposed to be ready. I'm gonna cook it up, put it in aluminum pans, which are expensive over there, about five dollars for aluminum, one aluminum pan. So, um, yeah, we'll be back in 24 hours, y'all. See you in a little bit.